Hi guys, what's up and welcome back. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and swatch video on this new palette that Tarte <laughs> recently released. So this is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette and this is how the packaging looks. Really, really adorable. And this is how the back of it looks. What is up with me today? <laughs> Alright, so this does retail for $40 on Sephora's website. It is a limited edition and I will leave a link down below as per usual if you guys are interested in purchasing it and picking it up. So let's get started with the actual package and then I'll let you guys know later how like crazy I am over it. So um, and this is how the actual package looks. Uh, adorable and freaking cute. And it says make believe in yourself on the back on the sticker and you know it's gold mirrored over here so once you open it up it has the same exact packaging as the rainforest of the sea palettes uh circular a little bit more thinner and a drop bigger i would say i should have really gotten it to actually compare but anyways uh this is how the actual palette opens up nice mirror and then you do receive a whole bunch of shades in there you do get 10 different shades around the actual palette and in the middle you are getting an eye slash cheek highlighter so as you guys can see, these are very like pearly, light, different kind of shades. Something that I don't think we see a lot of and very like unicorn, like light inspired, you know? So let's get started with the actual swatches first because I'm sure you guys are here for that. And then I'll discuss with you guys my personal thought uh, reviews and all that good stuff. All right, so here are all the shades that are included in this actual palette. These are basically with the one swipe slash swatch each. You guys can see how beautiful and pigmented they are. The only shade that I will say that wasn't crazy pigmented and like on par with the actual shadows is this last shade right here, which is technically the highlighter, but could be used as a eyeshadow as well. That one is a little bit more on the like chalkier side, but still really workable and nice and pigmented. But the texture of this shade was just a little bit more different than the actual textures of the specific shadows. So the finishes in this palette vary from three different kind of finishes we have like shimmer shades we have like heavy metallic shades and then there's only one matte which i thought was genius because in this kind of palette you want to have the like nice matte transition shade to not have to go to any other palette you know and that's why this palette is genius because you can use this palette on its own you don't have to actually go in with other palettes so this is the actual matte shade right here i think it's perfect i think it's not too too uh, warm and it's not too cool either so i think would be suitable for a lot of different skin tones and then you do have your array and mixture of different metallic and shimmer shades these do not have fallout they're very like tightly pressed i would say but they are very very soft and they feel very creamy very easy to put on your lid with you can actually use it with a brush, wet it, and use it on your lid. Or the perfect way that I find that I use it is when I actually just use it with my finger because I just think it's simpler and easier and you get the most pigment out that way. So once again, you do have a nice mixture of different colors. And as you guys can see, there are, there are shades here that are like those regular bronzy, typical everyday kind of colors. And then you do have your like different pops of color down here. So I think this would be very, very suitable for people who do like regular bronzy everyday kind of looks or like to add pops of color colors in their looks as well so i do like the little mixture of this palette because it kind of suits like the best of all the worlds you know what i mean i do love to use this transition shade right here for the actual crease and then apply any shade here on the actual lid it's kind of like a two-step and you're done you know what i mean like the two-step eyeshadow look and you're complete and you look like you really tried hard um i really love these also because they blend out very very nicely and they're very simple and easy to work with i think it's very very beginner friendly and you know obviously friendly if you're a true makeup artist overall i like these a lot and i think it's definitely worth it if you like to play around with regular colors or fun colors as well they did last on the eye for a very long time after a long day of work i still checked out my eyeshadows and they look really they looked really nicely in tact so i really enjoyed this palette do i think that every single person needs it Probably not. I'm sure you have certain shades like this in your actual palette, but the reason why I thought this one was very unique was, first of all, packaging, unicorn, everything is just so magical and beautiful. But if you're really looking at it in a point of view of like, do I really need that because I have so many other eyeshadows, these are very different. Do you know what I mean? Like, they're not just like your typical metallic or shimmer shade. They have like that like kick to it. And they just transform your face and everything into this way that you just want to look like. That you just, not want but you just look like this princess or this goddess coming from like, I don't know where, you know? And it has just like a cool touch to it. And I think that they're unique and different. Like as much as I saw eyeshadows, these eyeshadows just have that like 
like I said, kick to it, you know? So I hope you guys did enjoy this video and let me know what your thoughts and comments below on this is. I would love to know and I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.